Welcome everyone to my very first action figure review, uh, blog cast I suppose. Um, so over the last couple of weeks I've gotten into action figures where I have not been as much of a fan of them in the past, uh, partially because of uh, just having a little bit more extra money the last couple of weeks, but I don't know. I picked up a figure I, a figure I really liked uh, on a whim, and one turned into 15, and we're closing on on 20 now. So we are, you know, we're in it. We're in it. So I'm a big fan of the six-inch size figures, much like these very nice Marvel Legends figures. Uh, I like the uh, I like the scale. I like the detail. I'm very picky about the kind of figures I buy. I don't, I don't just buy any figures. I buy characters I really like. Characters that I, you know, I might want to draw someday. So it's good to have like a visual reference is kind of how I'm justifying this to myself. So today I went out, uh, I was at a Target uh, buying equipment for my new camera and came across this new morph, morph, came across this new morph figure uh, as part of the uh, Marvel Legends line, specifically the uh, the uh, build a figure Sugar Man uh, line. So this particular um, release is Age of Age of Apocalypse X Men Age of Apocalypse themed. Uh, the Age of Apocalypse, of course, was a very popular uh, early '90s X Men uh, story uh, about an alternate timeline where. Uh, Charles Xavier had died, Magneto had lived, and Apocalypse had taken over the world. In that universe, you saw a bunch of characters who had died and were alive, and a lot of characters who were alive who were now dead. Uh, Morph was one of those characters who, in the in the pro proper timeline, his equivalent character who had been known as Changeling uh, at a certain point in the past, um, had died. Although uh, that character did not really look like Morph, Morph was highly uh, uh, redesigned for the Age of Apocalypse. Uh, Morph is a fun character. He's a comedy character, to be honest. Uh, he was doing the comedy stuff that Deadpool's famous for now, uh, long before Deadpool was. Back when Deadpool was kind of a, you know, just an action guy in his early appearances. Um, um, of course, I liked Age of Apocalypse, but the real reason I liked Morph is because he was a member of a team called the Exiles, which were a team of uh, superheroes who traveled between alternate realities, uh, fixing things that had gone wrong, Quantum Leap style. Uh, he was a uh, he was a major character of that story, uh, one of the founding members, and one of the ones who would last through the end of the series. Uh, so I bought this figure because you know what? How often is there going to be a Morph figure? He's semi-obscure. He's not anyone's favorite character, but I like him. Uh, so I'm going to open this up. Well, actually, we're going to take a look at the box first. The cool things about these Marvel Legends series sets is that they look pretty good just for display if you're into that sort of thing. Character is really predominant. Uh, if you look on the side of the box, you get decent character art. I don't know the source of this morph drawing. It seems new for this release. And he's looking a bit goofy, goofier than usual. I don't know if I care for this. Uh, and of course, there's Apocalypse, looking all mean because it's his, his, uh, his bad timeline. Um, same thing on this side. On this side, of course, we get to see Morph in all his glory. Some information about him. Uh, not very much. Says a, a natural mimic. Kevin Sidney transforms himself into any shape it will. Uh, pretty basic. But then we see um, the other figures in the set. Uh, Sugar Man, who was a villain of the in the Age of Apocalypse story, is is the build a figure. He's kind of a weirdo. I honestly don't know what his deal is. He's just a weirdo. That is not that is not Thor's hammer. That's just a hammer. Uh, but we get to see the other figures of the line. These are all Age of Apocalypse characters, many of which who have not had action figures before. Uh, Jean Grey, X Man. Uh, Sunfire, which was a, which Sunfire is actually a really cool design in his Age of Apocalypse version. Uh, all normally in the regular timeline, he's not all Human Torch, so this has always been kind of a cool design. Then there's Wild Child, who's kind of like a smaller version of Sabretooth. 
why he got a figure and not Sabretooth is kind of weird. Weapon X, Morph of Corpse, and Dark Beast. Uh, so that's all pretty standard. It's a nice, age, there's a nice uh, Age of Apocalypse logo here on the top. If you saw this on a cover of a comic book in 1993, or 4 rather, no not 94, 95 rather, uh, you knew it was going to be a good time. So let's open her up because I'm someone who opens his action figures. Of course with these Marvel Legends they got a little bit of tape down here. So if you want to you protect your boxes, I, I personally throw them away. Because uh, these Marvel Legends boxes take up a lot of space. But I do like to open them cleanly, just uh, to minimize mess and ripping and tearing. So you got to cut this piece of tape down here. And the trick, I think... Oops, did that not cut? Hmm. I'll admit, I have not opened many of these. Marvel Legends books uh, figures before, so maybe there's more of a trick to it. Doesn't look like it's complicated. You'd think it was just a flap. Maybe I can't open it without destroying it. Oop. Oh, I see. It, it actually opens bottom first. There you go. And then he just slides on out of there. Of course, you got here Sugar Man's leg. I am starting to acquire a lot of loose Build-A-Figure legs. Uh, uh, for whatever reason, all of the random characters that I like, that I buy new, happen to come with legs. It's, it's, a, it's a problem. Because I don't buy entire sets, I'll never build any of these Build-A-Figures. At least I don't think so. Not anytime soon. Oh, okay. So Morph here, he's got his cape. His cape kind of pokes through the plastic here in the back. Uh, so getting him out is going to be a little tricky. Because... Right. For all the noise. Okay, I may have to cut him out. Some of these Marvel figures have uh, elastic holding them in. I think if I take him out of his little cape here, he'll just come right out. Okay, that's a lot easier. All right, so. So, cape goes right on there. If you look on the back here, he's got a, got a hole in his back and a... Oh, come on, light. There you go, peg on the cape, so when you put the cape on, you can plug it right into his back. Or, hmm. It's a little bit... Actually, the problem isn't that, it's, isn't that it's stiff, it's that it's actually a little too soft. So it doesn't want to go in. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, here's Morph. It's his Age of Apocalypse design, so he's got the uh, he's got the Magneto cape with the with the rivets. It's kind of a nice big cape. Just that soft peg in there is being a problem. I'm gonna have to play around with that some, try to get it in. Uh, so right away, you see he's got decent artic articulation here on the wrist. He fist will twist all the way around. Uh, it will. Eh, looks like it can bend, but it doesn't. No, maybe not. I guess the fist only turns around. Uh, elbow there is double jointed, so it will get about that far before it hits the muscle and stop, which honestly isn't as good as it could be. It's got an independent twist there. Arm will go all the way around. 
Same with this side, all the same articulation there. Uh, here on his chest, you can, ooh, it's a good snap there. You can bend forward, bend a little bit back, not that far. His hip twists. Got a leg, gets out about, yeah, that far. Twists around, double jointed knee. His boot here is gonna cause a problem, I think. So he doesn't quite, you know, doesn't quite match up in the back. Some figures do, but his, his, his big boot cuff kind of stops him. Uh, other leg is much the same. So he's pretty pretty standard action figure uh, morph here. He's very basic body. I can I, I look at him and I can think of a I can think of a couple of modifications. I could possibly like if I ever wanted to get into uh, uh, action figure like uh, customs, this would probably be a pretty good base to do a bunch of different characters. Uh, you would just need to change his head. Speaking of, of course, he's got the head. Lots of room to turn it, just twist it around, put it any way you want. Looks up really far. Looks down actually a lot. That's really good. Now, Morph is, I like Morph a lot as a character. I do not care for this raised eyebrow thing. Here, this raised, yeah, he's got like a raised eyebrow drawn onto his head, even though his sculpted brow is where it's supposed to be. So they, they, they like drew it on him to give him like a, a smirking with a raised eyebrow, but they didn't raise the eyebrow of the sculpt. So it, to me, it just looks kind of weird. I really wish they did not, they had not done that. I think the smirk was enough. I like the blacked out eyes. Uh, gives his eyes some, some of his, you know, his unique character. Uh, let's see about getting this peg in. What the deal is with this? Because if I can't get the cape in properly, he's going to be tough to pose. Come on. Just got to find the right angle, I think. There we go. A little bit of wiggling seems to make it work. Nope, it popped out again. All right, so this seems to be a particular flaw with this guy because I have had other characters with capes that have pegs and they, they go right in. This is not a common problem I have found ah, in these sorts of figures, so that's a little annoying. That's going to make his cape really wiggly and very difficult for posing purposes. And to be honest, Morph looks better in a cape than without. Um, so let's see what we can do here. Because, like, if you move, like, normally if you peg it in, uh, his cape will help hold him up, but like without it held in, it will like more try to fall out. I really wish I could get it in there. Let me try something. Let me try this. So this, I'm going to admit, is a major disappointment with this particular figure. Don't know why it's like that. Cause uh, well, hmm. If you look close, the peg on his back is actually a hexagon, whereas this peg is just a circle. I'm beginning to think that maybe that's part of the problem. Although you'd think that the hexagon would be there for like pinching it so it doesn't pull out, but it just does not want to go in. And that's no fun. Well, I guess it is what it is. All right, so Morph here is going to be a little bit limited in what you can do pose-wise. Uh, fortunately, his uh, cape does help a little bit with posing with the weight distribution. Like, give me a little bent leg there, and there we go. There's a there's a cool action guy pose, but again, the cape is trying to come off his neck. Much. Let me just bring the camera down a little bit. Right. Ah, and there's Morph. A little bit of an action pose. Just kind of play with his fists in the way I like. 
And then of course you set them up with the uh, blink here. And you got two of my favorite X-Men. I'm not a big X-Men fan as a rule, but I loved Exiles because you had these really unique characters. You just do not get playtime in the regular title. Blink, of course, came from the Age of Apocalypse uh, before she began time, uh, jumping between dimensions. Uh, morph is more of a... This Morph is from Age of Apocalypse, but the Morph in Exiles uh, was from a different universe where he was just kind of a similar character. Uh, but, of course, he wears the same costume. He looks the same. So, in my case, it works great for having both of these characters together. Now, of course, it would be great to me if Marvel would release a uh, um, the other characters from the initial team. They're some of my favorite Marvel characters. And they are so unlikely to ever get uh, figures of their own. Uh, there's Mimic and Nocturne and, uh, Thunder and uh, Thunderbird. Um, Thunderbird was uh, a character who was heavily modified by Apocalypse to be to be uh, basically a really big hulking character. It was very cool. Uh, and probably like the uh, female uh, uh, Sunfire. Uh, she was a pretty uh, constant part of that initial team, although she did come later after the initial adventure that founded the team. Uh, but anyway, that's the Morph figure. Uh, the thing about his cape is bugging the heck out of me. I don't know what the deal is with the cape. Otherwise, it's a pretty great figure. Uh, it's one I would recommend to anyone who's a fan of the character, a uh, fan of Age of Apocalypse, fage of, fan of Exiles. Um, not a big fan of his eyebrow. It's a weird, weird eyebrow. Uh, at least they could have sculpted the eyebrow properly, but I don't know. But otherwise, great figure, great build quality. Uh, for a Marvel Legends figure, it's about as good as it gets. As basic, well, it's as basic as it gets. It's not a super fancy figure, uh, which is why I'm annoyed with the cape because the cape is like its best feature. So thanks for listening, everybody. I hope to have more videos like this in the future. I got a few more figures coming in the mail, so I'll uh, take a look at those and keep you posted on all of my action figure adventures going forward. Um, I might pull out all the figures I've bought over the last couple of weeks and go through them. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks, thanks for watching.